Hi everyone. In previous class, we have discussed about alkaloids. Introduction, occurrence and extraction of alkaloids from a plant source. Now, in this class, we will discuss about the structural elucidation or elucidation of structure of nicotine. First of all, elucidation is the explanation. Clarified explanation is one of the definition or meaning of elucidation. That is clarified explanation. Okay. <clears throat> now, some brief introduction about uh, nicotine. It is a liquid. It is a volatile liquid. It is present in leaves of tobacco. It is a chief alkaloid. It has a boiling point 246 degrees Celsius. Hi everyone. In previous class, we have discussed about alkaloids. Introduction, occurrence and extraction of alkaloids from a plant source. Now, in this class, we will discuss about the structural elucidation or elucidation of structure of nicotine. First of all, elucidation is the explanation. Clarified explanation is one of the definition or meaning of elucidation. That is clarified explanation. Okay, <clears throat> now some brief introduction about uh, nicotine. It is a liquid. It is a volatile liquid. It is present in leaves of tobacco. It is a chief alkaloid. It has a boiling point 246 degrees Celsius. Now, the structure of nicotine contains one pyridine ring, one pyrrolidine ring, one methyl group, two nitrogen atoms and three double bonds. Look at the structure. There is a pyridine ring and it is the pyridine ring. This one is a pyrrolidine ring, a methyl group, two nitrogen atoms, three double bonds. From elemental analysis and molecular weight determination, the molecular weight of nicotine is C10H14N2. C10H14N2. Then the presence of pyridine with side chain. In this reaction, we have to show the presence of pyridine ring with a side chain. The nicotine is oxidizes with chromic acid or concentrated nitric acid. It gives nicotinic acid. It gives nicotinic acid. This reaction indicates that nicotine contains a pyridine ring along with a side chain at the third position. One, two, three. This indicates that the nicotine contains pyridine ring with a side chain at the third position. Next is we have to show the three double bond presence or the presence of three double bonds in the nicotine. What we have to do is nicotine is hydrogenated. Nicotine is hydrogenated with sodium metal in ethanol. Nicotine hydrogenated with sodium metal in ethanol. It gives exahydronicotine. Hydrogenation taking place at the double bonds. 
hydrogenation taking place at the double bonds. The places of double bonds as attached by have attached by hydrogen like this. Six hydrogen atoms are utilized in exa exa hydro nicotine. It shows that nicotine has three double bonds and all the three double bonds present in pyridine ring only. All the double bonds present in pyridine ring only. This is about the double bond presence. Then the presence of methyl group. The presence of a methyl group. What happened here is nicotine is heated, nicotine is heated with concentrated hydrogen iodide. Nicotine is heated with concentrated hydrogen iodide at 150 degrees Celsius. Nor nicotine and methyl iodides are formed. Nor nicotine and methyl iodide is formed. This reaction shows presence of a methyl group. Presence of a methyl group in the side chain. In the side chain. Now, next is we have to show two nitrogen atoms. Presence of two nitrogen atoms in the nicotine. In the nicotine. What happened here is nicotine reacts with two molecules of methyl iodide. The methylation taking place at the nitrogen. Here the nitrogens utilize their lone pair of electrons in bond formation with methyl groups. Then finally they form nicotine dimethyl iodide. Nicotine dimethyl iodide. This reaction shows that nicotine contains tertiary nitrogen atoms or two tertiary nitrogen atoms. Next step, nicotine is subjected to distillation with zinc chloride and lime. Nicotine decomposes into three products. They are pyridine, pyridine, next is pyrrole, pyridine, pyrrole, this one is methanamine or methylamine. Methyl amine. Once again, nicotine is subjected to distillation with zinc chloride and lime. It decomposes into three products. They are pyridine, then pyrrol, and methyl amine. This reaction or this decomposition of nicotine shows that the side chain in the nicotine is the derivative of pyrrol. Cysin is the derivative. Derivative of pyrrol. Next is nicotine reacts with a molecule of methyl iodide. Nicotine reacts with a molecule of methyl iodide. It forms nicotine, nicotine isometh iodide. Once again, nicotine 
is react with a molecule of methyl iodide it forms nicotine isomethiodide it is a salt then it is oxidized with potassium ferric cyanide it gives this structure the structure name is nicotone nicotone o n e it is ketone here a ketone once again nicotine reacts with methyl iodide forms nicotine isomethoxide sorry meth iodide then it oxidizes with potassium ferric cyanide it forms nicotone <coughs> nicotone on further oxidation with chromic trioxide chromic trioxide it gives this structure that is called hygrinic acid hygrinic acid once again nicotone on further oxidation it in presence of chromic trioxide it gives hygrinic hygrinic acid the formation of this hygrinic acid shows that nicotine contains side chain as pyrrolidin or nicotine contains pyrrolidin side chain at third position at third position this group attached to the pyridine ring at the third position now considering all the above reactions the correct structure of nicotine is it contains a pyridine ring and a pyrrolidin ring a methyl group to nitrogen atom tertiary nitrogen atoms and three double bonds this is the correct structure of nicotine thank you